So we have talked about functions, right? And then we can create our own functions and then we can use some inbuilt functions. Now, one of the functions which we have used till now is println, right? And this println is basically an inbuilt function which will print something for you, but it belongs to a package called fmt. Now we can create our own package. We have done that before. So we have a main package, which is which we have created. And then we have fmt, which is inbuilt. Now, if you look at this function name, which is println, the p is capital. Now, can we write a small p there? Is Will it work? Uh, so if I, the moment you do that, the moment I say small p and if I say save, you can see we got error. So Go language is case sensitive, which means if it is capital in the definition, it should be capital when you use it. But then question arises: why they went with capital letters, why not small letters? Because mean a function which we created is has a small letter m, right? But println has a capital letter. The reason is there is a concept called exported names or exported functions. Now when you talk about println, it is defined inside fmt and we are using it outside fmt, right? So we are using this println in our own package. It is allowed because it is capital, right? Uh, so if you if you jump back to FMT, there are, there are certain methods in FMT available. So one of the methods which they have there is too large. Now what too large does is it's check for the number. Is it too large or not? It returns a Boolean value basically. That method name is actually too large, which accepts an integer value, let's say 10. Uh, I know 10 is not a big number, but then this is an inbuilt function available. So print ln and too large, both are the function in the same package, but we can use println, we can't use too large. The reason is too large starts with a small letter and println starts with a capital letter, capital letter. And that's why when you define your own function, example in this case main, you can't access main outside this package. But what if you want to get a function which you want to access outside? So let's say my function name is demo. So if I say small demo, it is accessible only from this particular package. If you want to access from outside the package, you have to say capital D. That's how it works. So this is this is very important. So if you are using any inbuilt uh, packages or if you are using some libraries, you have to make sure that you can access only those functions which has capital letters. Okay, at the start, capital letters start. And when you define your own package and if you want uh, your function to be accessed outside, then make sure you use also capital letters the first letter. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye bye.